gonna go through my pantry and make sure that nothing is about to expire. And if anything's starting to go bad, we're gonna see if we can hurry and create something with it. I'm gonna share some grocery hauls and we're gonna cook dinner together. Are you ready? Aprons on, let's go. Okay, let me share with you the state of the main pantry. Here is our everyday pantry. Things are out of place, normal, everyday wear and tear, you know. And let me share with you the state of the food storage room. And here is our three to six month rotating pantry. We can stretch a year on a lot of things. If you'd like to see a full video on how you could create a rotating pantry, I'll leave it down below for you. So we use everything in here and nothing goes to waste. <laughs> it's pretty great. So I recently have stocked up, look at this, all this needs to get back on the shelf, so we need to find this a home. And uh, all this here. So I've got some things to do, because I can't even get into my big freezer. So if you're new here, I am all about our pantries. I am all about shopping your shelves, which means you rely on what you have in your home first before you go out and pay full price. I definitely believe in having a three to six month to a year food storage. I have a ton of videos down below on how you could start this process. I know everyone wants to stock up right now, which is great, but you need to know what to stock up on and how much. So start with the playlist I have for you down below. It'll get you going. And it's not overwhelming at all, you guys. Anyone can do this on any budget. All right, let's jump in and get to work. So I am down in our potato basket down here. And I have this bag of potatoes, like I said, it's starting to go bad. We have some funky looking potatoes, that is for sure. So what I'm gonna do is, they're still good, okay? They're still hard, a little soft, but they're fine. What we're gonna do is take the eyes off the, these and we're gonna peel them and we're gonna stick them in our Instapot and we're gonna make a huge batch of mashed potatoes. Did you know you could freeze mashed potatoes? I shared recently a video on 40 things that you could freeze and mashed potatoes is one of them. To keep track of all of this, I'm gonna use my She's in Her Apron Planner. I have a section in here on shopping your shelves. In my pantry inventory, I'm going to be putting that we need to use those potatoes. Also, I'm going to write down that I have a bag of sweet potatoes that need to get used up. Um, I have four really, really big ones in here. So that will make a yummy meal for us. I'm in my pantry all the time, but sometimes we just out of sight, out of mind, and it's good to have it on paper. So I'm gonna write this stuff down. And I have a butternut squash that needs to get used up as well. So I think what I'm gonna do with this bad boy is peel it, cut it up, get it in food saver bags and put it in the freezer. That way, come later in the summer or in the fall, I have butternut squash ready for us. Okay, also in this bucket, I have red potatoes. I think what I'm gonna do is tomorrow is actually Father's Day. So with Derek's breakfast, I think we will make him some like home fries with these. I have peppers in my refrigerator, I have onions. We'll make him some fried eggs, that way he can crack the yolk over the potatoes. He's going to love that. Okay, I have two bags of hot dog buns. I'm going to combine them together. I'll put one in the other. We have some hamburger buns. We're down to four. Hmm. Okay, so that needs to get used up. We have lots of flour tortillas. We're good there. Okay, these English muffins. If you are noticing you're not going through your bagels or your English muffins, make breakfast sandwiches and throw them in your freezer. So yummy. So I do share in one video how to make breakfast sandwiches with your English muffins, or you can make mini pizzas. You can put them in the oven to brown them up or the toaster, and then put your sauce on top with your cheese, add any toppings. That's how I had little mini pizzas as a kid is we used English muffins. And then we have some more flour tortillas. Some of these are Derek's. Um, he really enjoys the carb counter ones. So I have a lot, um, but I am gonna be making some breakfast burritos. I'm gonna take you guys along for that. This is great. This is what you need as an egg powder substitute. Now I'm gonna talk about this more on another video, but um, people think this, they can make like a scrambled egg out of. I've actually seen videos of people trying to do it. You guys, this is an egg replacer. It is an equivalent of an egg that could be used in baking. So when uh, your cookies or your cakes, muffins, breads, pancakes, ask for an egg and you don't have one, you put this in it as its place. But there is no egg in this. This is egg. 
This is egg powder. You could actually get scrambled eggs out of this. So I'll be sharing recipes with this coming up, but I also have uh, milk powder. There's all different kinds that we like, and I'll be sharing more on this. And you can have butter powder. I have this in number 10 cans as well. This is fantastic. So let me show you right now. Um, I'll make some for you right now, and I'll show you how to do that. It's so easy. Here's what it looks like. It's a fine powder. So I have a fourth cup of the butter powder. This is gonna make a fourth cup of butter, four tablespoons of butter. So you're gonna need two and one fourth teaspoons of water, and you're gonna mix that in here. So just two and one fourth teaspoon of water. Mix it really good, incorporate it really well. We have just made butter. We've just made butter. So I need to get all this in its home. I did find some shell pasta at well, another Walmart near me. So that's gonna get on the shelves. Do you guys remember me shopping for, um, me shopping in May, all the like Memorial Day sales? If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it below. I scored on mayonnaise, Miracle Whip, beans, and then over here, over here I have pickles to last us in the summer for recipes and snacking, barbecue sauces and dressings for marinades. So this, all this needs to get on the shelf. If you like to see that video and where I talk about how to keep your eye out and what to do to start um, shopping your shelves, go check that out. It's linked below. And in another video, I share with you our Sam's Club haul as well. So you can check that out, I'll leave a link below. Then I was getting my daughter ready for summer camp and we were in Walmart and I went and checked out the chicken prices. They had chicken breasts at a really good price and they were like, the chicken breasts were like $2.79. Yeah, I grabbed a few packages of those and I grabbed some chicken quarters. The bag was close to $8. $8 for chicken quarters. You guys, we got eight big chicken quarters in that bag. Four chicken quarters gives us six pieces of chicken for a meal. So I got two meals out of that bag. So if you've never worked with chicken quarters, go for it. It's cheaper right now. You gotta figure out what you could do to shop your shelves at a very low price, especially right now with inflation and everything. So keep an eye on chicken. And right now it is cheaper to buy a whole chicken for like a dollar, I think I got mine for a dollar 89 a pound for a whole bird than buying all the pieces separate. Here in Utah, boneless, skinless chicken breasts are like 320 or higher. That's crazy. But when I was recently at Sam's Club, I did find them for two something. Can't remember, you'll have to go check out that video. So I grabbed those and I'm gonna be making meals with those as well. Whenever you see it, snag it. If you find a good price, snag it, work with it, make a plan for it. This is how nothing goes to waste. Ran into Costco and this is my haul. So grabbed some paper towels, this is 12 rolls, 160 sheets and then Skittles. Why? I don't know. They intrigued me. I was like, yes, Skittles. <laughs> Might be on a sugar kick right now. I don't know. Okay, and then Crest Complete toothpaste. It's a five pack. It was on sale. So grab that to keep in our storage. And I am liking the Tide. I still use the Kirkland Free and Clear on some of our clothes, but I just noticed that more of the color clothes that tie does a really good job too, and I like the smell, and so it's really affordable for the amount that you could get. So whenever it's on sale now at Costco, I've been picking it up. And then Duracell batteries, because you need batteries um, for everything, um, but it's good to have on hand in case the power goes out. And then these Tyson reduced fat sausage patties. Oh yes, we like the round ones. We like to make them for breakfast sandwiches, anytime for breakfast. So good. So this big bag is like, it's big. This is, they're fully cooked. It's a four pound bag. And then the gallon Ziploc bags were on sale. So you get 152 total bags. There's four boxes inside. And then the drumstick ice cream is on sale. Oh yeah, can you tell I already had one? Mm-hmm. So it comes with vanilla fudge, vanilla caramel, and vanilla. So the kids have a nice summer treat. Fully cooked bacon. This is a hickory wood smoked, and it's microwavable. The eight inch flour tortillas, there are like, it's two pounds in all. There's like two packages in here. 
so we could do soft tacos, anything. My kids love flour tortillas. The Alaska salmon burgers, you guys, these are so, so good. So good. So the salmon fillets are excellent. We love having them. Um, and so we, I grabbed those, keep them in the freezer. Basmati rice, this big bag here. This is 20 pounds of basmati rice. I really like basmati. It's low on the glycemic index. So if anyone that is dealing with insulin issues, diabetes, um, insulin resistance like I do, I have PCOS and I've been really trying to focus on it, and basmati is lower glycemic than the jasmine, and I love jasmine, so I'm making the switch more over to basmati. And then for our uh, food storage, I grabbed the Harvest Creek pulled pork. This is really good, it's stored in water. It comes with four cans, um, they're 12 ounces each. And then the Chosen Foods avocado spray, I really like this, so two of those come together. And then the pure organic fruit bars. These are so good. The kids actually like them too, which I'm psyched about. A beautiful watermelon. I can't wait to cut into that. Eggs. Even though we have chickens, we've been sharing our eggs. I grabbed more eggs, and I'm going to be doing some back-to-school stuff. I know, right? It's like, it's here before you know it. So I'll be making things with that as well. So this is our Costco haul. Went to Winko today to check out all their frozen vegetables and get an idea on their pricing because they don't put all their store pricings online. So when I was there, I grabbed some hamburger buns, their beef sirloin um, burgers. There are 15 in here, crinkle cut fries. My kids have been asking for frozen french fries for a while and haven't done it. So got a big bag, this is five pounds. Two packages of chicken breasts and this was a good deal, it was $2.78 a pound, and they're the jumbo breasts. And then two boxes of Otter Pops to get the summer going. Um, we have Tropical and Original. I mean, this just reminds me of being a kid so much. Two big bags of broccoli florets. This is three pounds, four ounces of bag. We are going to actually freeze dry these two big guys here and work that into our food storage. Some marshmallows for, of course, s'mores. This was cheap, this was 99 cents, and I think this was like $1.68, I could be wrong. And then gluten-free Oreos, because yum. English muffins, 12 pack. An Italian hot sausage, because I grabbed one at Smith's when it was on sale, and it was the last one. And when I do my Italian gravy, I use two of these, so I picked that up. Four um, corn, ears of corn, for 25 cents each, and then Two big bags, look how big these are, and they're crisp, red grapes, and they were on for 88 cents a pound. So I was like, uh-huh, you're coming home with me. So two bags of that, and that is my Winco haul. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, somewhere I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way I was in the 
the dark, against it all, but made it through the day. Cause I find my way, I find my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I find my way. Everything is put on the shelves and all the things that need to get used up first are ahead and everything else is in the back. Time for a little pick-me-up snack. I forgot to show you because when I got home from Costco I put it in the fridge because they were starting to melt. But we have the Girl Scout Thin Mitt Pretzels. Now you thought the almonds may have been addicting? So I kept him in the fridge. Yeah, That's gonna be my little pick me up sugar snack for working so hard. All right, so I've got these chicken breasts. They're really big. I could actually slice them in half. We're gonna grill all these up. Um, I had this package and this package and they were um, at Walmart for $2.79 a pound, I wanna say. So I grab those. Um, anytime I'm seeing chicken for a good price right now, I'm grabbing it. And I've been cooking it up, freeze drying it. I've been um, storing it in my freezer because I'm guessing in the next little while, the prices are just gonna keep climbing and I'm not gonna be able to get my hands on the, you know. So while I can, I am, this is how I am stocking up. So Derek already seasoned these two. I'm gonna do these thick, and then I'll season these in just a minute. Oh, this one kinda went wonky. We'll definitely put this one in the uh, freeze dryer. <laughs> just trying to get some of the fat off the best that I can. I think I'll just cut this straight down like this. Okay, so I do wanna try on a couple of this, this veggie roasting, roaster seasoning. It's got balsamic and roasted onion and it tastes really good. So I wanna do a couple with that. And Derek has this Traeger rub that we'll sprinkle on some of the chicken as well. And then these two have the french fry seasoning. So we're just trying them out and we just season this chicken. Okay, once everyone dishes up, then um, we're gonna take what is left and we are going to put it in our freeze dryer machine. And that is coming up in another video for you guys so you could see that. But I love cooking chicken like this in bulk because now you have chicken for future recipes for the week. You could freeze up half and use the rest in other recipes. I just, this saves so much time, you guys. That corn on the cob, we are gonna take, this is the last of it, we're gonna take this out and grill it up, season it and get it on the grill. To get these ready for the grill, I'm going to rub some oil on them so they don't like totally stick to the grill. I actually have um, some other corn that I got, but it's a lot whiter. It's very much a white corn. I already took it out of the husks the other day and put them in a baggie in the fridge. So this corn also needs to get used up. So might as well get this on the grill as well. 
we're not going to be able to plow through this corn tonight. So what we'll do is take it off the cob. We'll cut and take it off the cob and have it and we can put it on the salads for the week. Like we could just eat it. It'll be used up faster than having it just sitting on the cob. All right, let's go bring this to Mr. Toodles on the grill. All right, I have some unsalted butter here, melted. I'm gonna put some Old Bay seasoning in. So all this lettuce I'm going to work with for the salad tonight and then for later in the week. Okay, we'll get this in the salad spinner and get this all washed up. Then we'll get things ready for our dinner tonight and for later in the week. I have a dozen eggs here that I'm gonna put in my Instant Pot and get these cooking. Um, so that way we have some for our salad tonight and then we have some to snack on or to make egg salad if we wanted to, but mostly this is gonna be for snacking. So I'm gonna put some water down and high pressure them for four minutes. Remember the butter we made earlier? We're gonna put some of this butter right onto our corn. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that, it melts right in. Mm -mm. The directions are so easy to follow and now you have butter when times are crazy and you can't get to the store or the prices are just ridiculous. You have butter ready to go. Now stay tuned, um, I have some videos coming up on how you can make some mixes and how to use it more in recipes. Um, we've been using our food storage a lot more and you guys, there's so many benefits of having something shelf stable, ready to go for you on your shelf. And we're all dishing up dinner. So we have our chicken on our salad. Hard-boiled eggs and the corn on the cob. Oh, it's so good you guys and that is our easy summer dinner tonight and No heating up the kitchen. Well dinner was delicious that grilled chicken salad hit the spot the corn on the cob yum I hope this inspired you to get into your pantries see what meals that you could come up with for the next little bit with what you have how can you preserve some of the things that you already have so they don't go to waste and how you could rotate through your things. I have two videos for you right here to help you get motivated and inspired to shop your shelves. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you later. Bye.